crisis for Meghan and Harry. Cold eyes were directed at them. The future of Sussex. All is bad for Markle. The cold eyes on Meghan and Harry make the future of Sussex more uncertain than ever. Recently, Meghan Markle is not feeling very comfortable at Westminster Hall and a source has reported it has nothing to do with grieving for the Queen. Clearly, the good ship Markle is headed for some troubled waters, and more news is coming out about Harry and Meghan fighting again. Camilla, Catherine and Sophie are watching her closely. They're just wondering what kind of stunt she's going to attempt next. You can see how tense things are between them all. The family must have said something to her. Megan looks like she would rather be anywhere else. Catherine and Camilla clearly have had enough of her and we can see it. I think Megan knows now that she does not fit in there. She had no place collecting flowers from the public and she has no place there with the royal family. She doesn't have any idea about how to act right because she won't listen to anybody. She's like the cleaner who's waiting for them to finish so that she can finally start cleaning up. I can just see the dollar signs in her head. Everything that she had gotten from the royal family was not her right, but she seems to believe that she's entitled to whatever she wants. Now, the events happening to honor the Queen's memory are all about tradition and protocols, and we know how Meghan despises those. Her face during the service seemed to go between thinly disguised boredom and also the wheels turning as she was trying to figure out how she could financially benefit from it, and it looks like Harry's blaming her for him losing every single thing that he had before he met her. Apparently their latest fight was about Harry not being allowed to wear his military uniform. So I know that he said that he was trapped before, and he said his father and his brother are trapped within the monarchy. But obviously Harry is now trapped completely. It was amazing to see how none of the Queen's children missed a step. They just carried on with the immediate business of the monarchy. They knew exactly what their jobs are, and they didn't question their roles, and they didn't question their support for each other after the death of their beloved mother. I do wonder why Harry doesn't seem able to understand that the more he's given up, the more hurdles appear. It's not easy to strike out on your own, with not much experience, and really only your name to use after. You've deliberately cut ties, too, with a family who loves you so deeply, who wants to see you succeed. Harry was born into a life of immense privilege, but he doesn't really have a great reputation. So poor Harry. He has definitely been lured into Meghan's web, and now, on a daily basis she is influencing him with her thoughts and her ideas of surviving and thriving. The poor, miserable prince was excited to reach for the brass ring that she held out. It wasn't silver, though, so she held that out to get him to join her and take the geographic cure off to Hollywood, where Meghan was going to introduce him to all the important people. She was gonna fix whatever's wrong with him and feather her own nest in the process. It was not just about creating new opportunities for themselves. No, they wanted to monetize, and they wanted to take full advantage of Prince Harry's family connections. They wanted to rake in more money than Meghan had ever dreamed of after she's told so many hateful lies and caused so many problems. It's absurd that she's in this privileged position. And I am so glad that Camilla is such a strong woman. I don't think she's gonna let Meghan get away with anything. She's definitely subdued now. We don't see that Cheshire cat smile on her face. She's got her head down. Her clothes are appropriate for once, and they were standing in their places according to protocol. They didn't barge ahead, they didn't decide to do some solo sachet down the aisle at Westminster. And we don't see any solo PR stunts coming from them either, like their own walkabout. Meghan's carriage rode with Sophie and Countess Sophie was standing right between her and the other senior royal women. And it looks like Harry was the only one who had to wear a morning suit instead of getting to wear his military titles and I'm sure that upset him, but still, fair is fair. Even though it was Harry's decision to walk away, he understood the rules, and he understood the conditions that went along with that decision. So I don't know what was said, but it looks like they said something to Meghan and Harry. To make them fall in line. And Harry really should have stood up to Meghan when she started attacking his family, especially when she attacked them with blatant lies. Making a mistake, trusting the wrong person doesn't actually mean that you've got to give up all of your personal integrity and become so spiteful and sneaky. For a lot of people out there, eventually they would find a point where they thought they were going too far, but obviously not Harry. And I am so curious what is in that book that is scaring King Charles so much.
I mean, there's such a mess in the US right now with a president that is clearly in some kind of mental decline. So we really need our cousins in the UK to stand strong right now so that we can look up to them like we have in the past. I'm just hoping that we can watch what's going on in the UK right now. And in the end we can say, all right, at least in one country we can see the good guys win. And I'm sure that Meghan is nowhere near finished. I'm guessing she's considering a new round of dirty work for her defenders, and she'll just stand there, holding her head high and granting interviews to whoever's gonna pay her the most money. And I do appreciate that King Charles III expressed love and affection for the gruesome twosome. I think it's obvious that the looks on the faces of people like William, Catherine, Camilla, Sophie and all of them show that they have clearly had enough of Meghan's nasty behavior. It should reflect poorly on Meghan in the aftermath of the state funeral for a beloved monarch. So I think individuals with a bit of common sense are going to easily move on. So the powerful four are the Queen Consort, Princess and Princess Catherine and Countess Sophie. And I think it is time for those brave, strong women to take matters into their own hands and finally deal with Meghan once and for all. They should have her banished and they can tell her she is never allowed to show her face in the UK again. Now I have nothing but respect for King Charles III and Prince William. I noticed in the videos that Catherine was looking down, but you could see that one of her eyes was ever so slightly turned to the left, and I know exactly who she was keeping a close eye on. So Sophie was standing there, also looking down, but her eye was also slightly turned to the left. With her right hand tightly clenched, she looked like she was prepared at any moment and knocked that woman into next week. The combination of the expression on her face and that clenched hand, it made me think she was really angry about something, and Camilla was looking like she's thinking that she may need to restrain Catherine and Sophie at any moment. Now, we all know that these royal ladies would never, ever do something like that, but if they did, let's just say I wouldn't feel upset or sad about it. Meanwhile, the British royal family is gonna continue doing what they do best, keeping calm and carrying on. On Monday, the Queen is going to be laid to rest along with her lifelong love, Prince Philip, and everyone's going to return to their lives. Of course, everyone's still going to be dealing with some lingering grief, but I think most people can feel secure knowing that they love the Queen, and the Queen also loved them deeply and gave them as much freedom as possible to be who they want to be. And you, what do you think about Meghan and Harry? Please tell me what you think below in the comment section. If you think my video is helpful, please remember to like and share video. And don't forget to follow page now. Thank you.